These are my new pets, mice. Been really fascinated with them. Oh, I bet they're now because they're kind of neat. I build these things for them. Build these little houses. That's Apache. And that right there, that should be, let's see if that's him. I think that's him. Yep, I think so. That guy is the male. His, his name is Hanratty. A uh, funny thing about him is when we got him, he escaped in the car. We couldn't find him for a couple of days. And uh, it was kind of catch me if you can. And he had had that name before he escaped. These are the new ones there and there together. Um, it's weird. I've been learning a little bit about these things. And when you first put new ones in there, they kind of get they gotta get acquainted and sometimes they might bite at each other and well, they're all in there they're hiding in there there's, there's quite a few of them in there and this one here is Cleopatra and she is pregnant as you can see and she's in there by herself so the other uh, ones won't eat her pinkies here is this is my one of my original uh, mouse. He's a big male. He's the biggest. That is Brutus. I got him from PetSmart. Um, he's the biggest mouse there. And they said he had actually been returned because the people said he would beat up on the other mice. Which, um, uh, when I first got him, put him in the cage with some others. Yes, he is uh, pretty mean. So he kind of got the name Brutus Bowser is his name. But he seems to get along with that one. So she stays in there with him. But uh, he's quite a quite a mouse. He's actually unfortunately killed one. Bit him up pretty good. Been shopping around for shells. Now these are the uh, stuff I found out here. I, I know this is a little bit more fancy stuff, a like light target load stuff. You can always tell fancy shells too because I got one room right here. They have brass, the brass, uh, the bases are brass. This is a state. These are a little bit cheaper. I got these at Walmart, five bucks. Four dollars or something like that. Aluminum. So, did I take a few out of there. I think I did. Hey guys, uh, so I know I haven't been getting back to you a lot uh, with the vlogs and everything. So I'm trying to put together some. Uh, yeah, still doing the internet issues. Um, been. Uh, <laughs> Bookman's is really funny because I figured I wanted to share this with you. Uh, been one of my favorite places to go. There's the, I don't know if you can see it. Um, but these things are 100% recycled. Yeah, hey, about that. Um, Bookman's is like the biggest, like, uh, DVD, books, music, uh, even music instruments. And uh, they even have like this section that's loaded with antiques and strange little things but uh, the interesting thing is there it's a really giant uh, store and you go in there and trade in stuff it's much like what I was used to in Hawaii uh, the Kona Bay books the only the one thing good thing about um, bookmans is it's so big they see so much stuff on on a daily basis so every time you go in there there's probably different stuff 
Um, the other benefit of that is when you got when you want to turn in a bunch of stuff, if you have the same box of stuff, you can take it to the to that bookman's uh, different times of the the week and get different uh, results. Sometimes they don't take nothing, and then you take it back like uh, three days later, and they take a whole bunch of stuff. Um, or you can just take it to a whole another bookman's. <laughs> There's actually two bookman's on the same street. Interesting. So you just kind of go through it. But uh, yeah, I've been just dabbling around with a lot of credit because it's been better than spending money. I picked up one of the, my favorite type of uh, comedy movies with uh, Michael Douglas called War of the Roses. It's got Kathleen Turner, Danny DeVito. Interesting thing is not a lot of people know that actually Danny DeVito directed this movie. Uh, it's, it, it is one of my favorite ones. So, But uh, yeah, I've been buying up some ammo here and there whenever I can. Again, I was showing you guys this stuff is state. Uh, super sport uh, competition target loads interesting stuff and uh, I got my little holster here oops there's a some stuff falls into the tripod uh, but uh, I've yet to go out and test it but you guys will definitely be coming along the minute I uh, test out this baby the old Winchester uh, so yeah, this is super, super cool. I cut the cut the barrel down myself again. Um, thanks, Dad, for showing me how to do that. <laughs> my dad, growing up, my dad used to do that to a lot of shotguns. So, illegal, of course. Uh, I think I did mine at about 20 inches. Uh, 20, 21 inches or something like that. I definitely want... Um, I think from the barrel exposed, but I think if you run the rod down into where it touches the bolt, I think you're you're gonna come out to about 20, 20 or some change. But if you um, just do it this way, you still get you still get about 19. So I definitely want to make sure it is well over the legal length instead of playing right there where it could be iffy if it is so 18 and a half is the legal unless you have an SBS short barreled shotgun license pick this thing up for the skits and things you'll probably see that uh, I don't know if you can read it it's a fake cigar all right so got the fake cigar uh, fake cigarettes right here yep there we go Fake cigarettes, uh, I, you've actually seen these appear in some of Santee's videos we did. We used them. Because um, I don't smoke. So, there you go. What is this? Oh, another auto knife. These are so cool. It's awesome to be able to own these things out here. But, uh, Anyway, that's what I'm doing. You saw the mice, so. Okay guys, so here's the first kind of screen test with this background that I'm gonna be using. Just wanted to see how how it photographs. I was trying to figure if I was gonna leave it ruffled or straighten it out. So, I'm not sure. But this material is really nice. I was wondering how it's going to pick up in HD and everything, so there's kind of just a look. Of course, we'll try to get some better lighting. But there you go. Test screen of a something new I'm going to be trying on the main channel called, uh, I guess I'll call it uh, showroom videos or something. So, should be interesting. These are actually the original grips from this gun.